ஹலோ பசங்களா வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் திஸ் இஸ் யோர் மாஸ்டர் டீச்சர் நிவேதா எஸ் ஹலோ பசங்களா வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் திஸ் இஸ் யோர் மாஸ்டர் டீச்சர் நிவேதா மேக்கிங் பயோ லேர்னிங் வெரி வெரி சிம்பிளிஃபைட் ஜஸ்ட் ஃபார் ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ கைஸ் ஸோ இன்னைக்கு நம்ம செஷனில் ரொம்ப ரொம்ப மூணு முக்கியமான விஷயம் பார்க்க போகிறோம் ஒன் இஸ் யோர் பெடிகிரி அனாலிசிஸ் வி ஆர் கோயிண்ட் டு டிஸ்கஸ் செக்ஸ் டிட்டர்மினேஷன் அண்ட் வி ஆர் ஆல்சோ கோயிண்ட் டு டிஸ்கஸ் மியூட்டேஷன்ஸ் பசங்களா ஸோ எஸ் ஹலோ am I audible? am I is my video clear? so parameters check பண்ணிட்டோம்னா we can get into the session yes can anyone please confirm me hello everyone do I see anyone in the chat yeah please do respond if I am audible ஓகே பசங்களா ஸோ நான் ஒரு குட்டி ஸ்டில் பீப்புள் ஜாயின் இன் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் கிவ் யூ ஒன் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் அப்டேட் ஸோ நாளைக்கு இல்லை நாளன்னைக்கு வி வில் ஹாவ் அ குவிஸ் ஓகே அண்ட் ஐ வில் டெல் யூ த போர்ஷன்ஸ் ஃபார் த குவிஸ் இட் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி பேஸ்ட் ஆன் கிளாஸ் இலெவன் டாபிக் ஸோ என்னென்ன டாபிக்ஸ்னா அனிமல் கிங்டம் பயாலஜிக்கல் கிளாசிஃபிகேஷன் தென் யூ ஹாவ் செல் சைக்கிள் அண்ட் செல் டிவிஷன் பயோ மாலிக்யூல்ஸ் சர்க்குலேட்ரி சிஸ்டம் அண்ட் எக்ஸ்க்ரீட்ரி சிஸ்டம் எஸ் இஸ் இட் கிளியர் கிரேசி டூட் இஸ் மை வாய்ஸ் கிளியர் இந்த எக்கோயிங் அந்த மாதிரி ஏதாச்சும் பிரச்சனை இருந்தால் ஆல்சோ லெட் மீ நோ ஓகே ஸோ இந்த அஞ்சு சாப்டருமே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு கவர் இன் அ குவிஸ் ஓகே நாட் அஞ்சு ஆறு சாப்டர் ஓகே ஐ ரிப்பீட் த போர்ஷன்ஸ் பயோ மாலிக்யூல்ஸ் செல் சைக்கிள் அண்ட் செல் டிவிஷன் ஓகே தென் வி ஹாவ் பாடி ஃப்ளூட்ஸ் இன் சர்க்குலேஷன் எக்ஸ்க்ரீட்ரி ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் தேர் எலிமினேஷன் அனிமல் கிங்டம் பயாலஜிக்கல் கிளாசிஃபிகேஷன் இந்த ஆறு சாப்டருமே come prepared for the uh, quiz okay so this time i have added uh, our chapter and i'm already telling you the portions in hand okay so naalaki la naalanaki it depends on how the quiz gets ready i uh, will definitely do it okay yes so innikku nama session la poradhuk munnadi i want all of you to answer vedantu's daily practice problem by the end of the session five simple questions will be given from today's topic okay so adha ning answer panni you can test yourself immediately so in next session la ma'am enna panna poringa i'm going to do three important topics in the mutation include panla sex determination mutation and pedigree analysis and all the three are very very important from neat exam point of view pasangla so modala nama sex determination pathi paakalam what do you guys understand about sex determination it is nothing but what is going to determine whether an organism is a male or whether an organism is a female that is what is called sex determination okay so can anybody tell me what all determine sex determination in all factors will determine sex determination the very first thing is chromosomes correct it is the most important method of sex determination yes or no the second method of sex determination is haplodiploid haploid will become one sex okay and diploid will become another sex and there is one more very very interesting idu vandu romba rare da ana romba interesting ana or vishayam you have environmental factors okay environmental factors also determine the sex okay so these three are the factors that is going to determine your sex in your ncrt you have chromosomal method of sex determination and haploid diploid method of sex determination which we are going to start okay so before i start i want everyone to like this video and do comment and do tell a hi in the chat section so we can continue okay modala nama paaka poradhu in the sex chromosome okay chromosomal method la sex chromosome irukke okay it was henking in the year 19 1891 he was the one who actually proposed indha mari edho or chromosome irukke that is determining the sex and solli avar da propose pannaru then i already told you haploid diploidy and we also have environmental methods okay so modala nama paaka poradhu the chromosomal method of sex determination பசங்களா so what is this chromosomal method of sex determination you have three important type xx xy type xx xo type and zz zw type so these are the three important types of sex determination in uh, organisms okay chromosomal methods so modala onna na padikalam okay so let's talk about xx xy type okay so what is this xx hi hi what is this xx xy type na xx is your female correct they are going to produce 
similar kind of gametes. So your females are homogametic. Okay, homogametic na ina pasangla. They produce similar kind of gametes. All the gametes that the female produces contains only X chromosome. That is what we call it as homogametic. Then you have heterogametic. Okay, heterogametic na ina. They produce two different kinds of gametes. Okay, what do you mean by two different kinds of gamete? Half of the gamete that the uh, male produces contain X chromosome and the other half contains Y chromosome. That is what we call it as male heterogamety or XXXY type of sex determination. Did everyone understand what is XXXY type of sex determination? It is present in human beings. Simple, easy example. Okay, next we have female heterogamety so idu vandu nama z z z w type in solro okay here the males are homogamatic it is seen in birds in the z z z w type enga irukku pasangala birds la irukku okay va so the males produce similar gametes so adha vandu nama homogamatic in solro okay in this case the females produce two kinds of gametes what that is called as heterogametic okay yes male has homogametic very good that is your zzzw type example are very very important zzzw type ke birds xxxy type ke it is your human beings okay rombo rombo clear a purinjukonga easy da rombo easy da or rendu vaati padichona clear a vandrum okay now we have one more type of sex determination that is xx X zero type. Abdina enna. You have the males which have only one X chromosome. Rombo simple. Ore or X chromosome irunda. Aunga vandu male. Okay. Rende X chromosome irunda. Aunga vandu female. That is what is called as XXXO type of sex determination. Ithi enga irukkuna. Can anyone tell me where is XXXO type of sex determination seen? It is seen in grasshopper. This has been asked many times in your need pasangla. So ithi kana example enna. Grasshopper. Okay, so if they contain one X chromosome, okay, then it is a male. Okay, if they contain two X chromosome, then it is a female. So LR in or Vishita clear up Unjukonga. Yes, very good. Hi, Janice. Hi. Yes, grasshopper is an example. This has been asked several times. Okay, all X carry an additional X chromosome besides the autosomes. Can anyone watching this live tell me what is autosomes? Autosomes na innan solunga. Okay. Now the eggs are fertilized by sperm having an X chromosome and become female. Okay. Sometimes if the eggs are fertilized by a sperm which do not contain X chromosome, they become males. Yes. I had asked a question. What are autosomes? Autosomes are body chromosomes. In the chromosomes, we are going to classify two of One is the autosomes. One is the sex chromosome. One is the allosomes. Okay? Yes. Can we continue? So, we will see the three of sex determination. Pathato. XX, XY, ZZ, ZW and XX, X0. Okay? It is not O, it is 0. So, how do we look at this? Let's see. X, X. This is confusing. We can put it as X0, X, X, X0, X, X, X0. Okay. This is our question. In the question, yes, not involved in sex determination. Very good, very good, Janice. So, this is the question. What is the probability of uh, uh, progeny being a male? What is the probability? 50%. What is the probability that the progeny B will be a female? That is also 50%. Okay. So, 50-50% equal our home probability. Okay. So, example, grasshopper. Do not forget by the end of the session when I do rapid fire, I will ask this question. Yes. It is sex determination in human beings. So, who is determining the sex in human beings? Can you tell me whether it is the mother or the father? Who is determining the sex? Mother or father or? Knowing that father is heterogamatic, can anyone tell me? Anybody? Yes. Yes. Any answer? Yes, absolutely correct. It is the father who determines the sex of an fetus or a baby. 
okay because the mother is producing homogametes she is producing all her gametes is only having x chromosome now what is going to determine whether the sperm that is fertilizing is x chromosome or whether the sperm that is fertilizing is y chromosome okay so we should no longer blame uh, mothers for having continuous girl child okay still there are people who keep on blaming only women for having girl children that's not bad actually okay that has to be completely condemned yes purunjada pasangla so who is determining the father is determining the sex okay appo or question kekra in the question kuda i think i saw it in aip mt or something okay there are four children and all the four children are girls what is the probability that the fifth child will be a girl can anyone tell me in a family there are four girl children okay what is the probability that the fifth child will be a girl answer is here in the probability anybody it is 50% okay no matter how many children are there okay the probability of a child being a female is 50% the probability of a child being a male is 50% clear yes yes very simple rombo easy okay idha matra marandrave marandradinga okay any time any pregnancy the probability of having a girl or a boy is 50 50% okay very good very good so all of you leave a victory sign we'll continue now if this is seen in your zzzw type is actually seen one second yeah so zzzw or we call it as wz this is seen in birds okay now already so namari here who is determining the sex can anyone tell me who is determining the sex here whether it is a male or the female unga nama human beings la male is determining here who is determining anybody very good very good it is female romba simple ellarku purinjirchi okay so this is your zzzw type and the homogametic heterogametic or rendu moonu vaati eludi paathina romba clear ah purinjirum ipo nama the haploid diploid type of sex determination paaka porom okay the first type we finish now we are going to see the second one and where is this seen it is seen in honey bees okay so honey bees are beautiful social organisms correct avungala mari or organized a innor insect nama paakave mudiyadu correct so what is actually happening here romba simple ana vishayam pasangala you have haploid haploid na n n number of chromosome haploid will become male okay diploid will become female okay this process of development of an organism without fertilization is called as can anyone tell me what is the process of development of an eppadi in end develop agudhu ena fertilization nadakkala and the process enna nu solluvom yaarukku theriyada does anyone know it is called parthenogenesis okay so what is parthenogenesis pasangla it is a development of organism without fertilization yes very good very good janis excellent so in the parthenogenesis enga nadakkudhu enoda honey bees la nadakkudhu okay moonu vidamana organism irukku unga hive ku poningna illa swarm a group of um, bees called swarm correct ah so adula vandu modala or queen irupanga ivunga da leader she is the leader of the entire hive okay then you have drones okay the drones are actually your male okay and they contain n that is they are haploid they are haploid and they are fertile they can reproduce okay coming to your workers the workers are females okay they are diploid and they are sterile what do you mean by sterile can anyone tell me sterile na enna pasangla so these are the three important kind of organism that is present in a hive ipo eppadi one one produce agudun paakala yes what is sterile they cannot reproduce simple okay they cannot only who is re, in the female who is re, queen is also a female but she is fertile okay yes cannot reproduce very good very good ipo nama one one clear ah paathiralam நம்ம ஹனி பீல எத்தனை குரோமோசோம் இருக்கு முப்பத்தி ஆறு குரோமோசோம் இருக்கு ஓகே அண்ட் ஹனி பி ஹேஸ் இன் டிப்ளாய்ட் செல் இட் ஹேஸ் தேர்ட்டி சிக்ஸ் குரோமோசோம் திஸ் வில் அண்டர் கோ நியோசிஸ் 
meiosis panna what it will produce it will produce gametes now you can see the gametes are what haploid haploid gametes are produced now what happens pasangla listen to me very carefully the haploid gametes okay will now develop into drone fertilization in nadakkadu it simply develops into drone okay and this drone is a male okay if there is fertilization with an another uh, uh, gamete that is produced by a drone then you will have the female bees that is produced okay these female bees are of two types one is your worker and the other one is your queen okay does anyone know how is a queen formed eppadi undu the queen vandu form agudhu see queen will be very very large when compared ipo neenga or hive vandu romba carefully observe panninaale you can find out the queen okay this queen feeds on a special substance this is extra just out of curiosity called royal jelly and she grows in size and she gets the capacity to reproduce okay so this is your haploid diploid method of sex determination any doubts in haploid diploid method of sex determination is it clear pasangla do like this live share this live and do share your comments in the comment section purunjoda yes or no yes great great ipo nama paaka poradhu mutation neenga solunga pasangla mutation na enna what do you guys understand by mutation yes we have to understand this very very clearly because in the mutation vandu rendu mukhyamana chapter la irukku onnu vandu principles of inheritance and variation innonu vandu molecular basis of inheritance okay so what is mutation very simple it is a sudden heritable romba indha word vandu romba romba mukkiyam heritable change in the sequence of dna enoda dna sequence la nadakkra oru change da nama vandu mutation nu solra and that mutation has to be carried to the next generation adu romba mukkiyam okay it is just not happening just like that okay and this mutation causing agents yes defect in the gene sudden change in the genes very good and mutation causing agents are called mutagens அது வந்து நம்ம என்னன்னு சொல்றோம் பசங்களா மியூட்டேஜன்ஸ் னு சொல்றோம் ஓகே and these mutations are of two different types okay one vandu chromosomal mutation okay இன்னொன் வந்து gene mutation okay இந்த gene mutation ஐ நம்ம point mutation னு கூட சொல்றோம் okay இந்த chromosomal mutation னா என்ன பசங்களா there is certain changes in the chromosome itself okay now the chromosome la nadakkra changes ah na chromosomal mutations nu solra so enna la changes nadakkala enoda chromosome la there can be deletion okay there can be inversion we'll discuss about all these there can be transition okay and there can also be translocation okay then coming to your gene mutation okay nama gene mutation vandu rendu vidama classify pannala okay one is your point mutation so your gene mutation is classified into point and frame shift okay ellame explain pandren i'm just giving you a overview what we are going to be doing in the next 15 minutes okay clear all of you understood this now we are going to discuss the types of chromosomal mutation in the chromosomal mutation na enna nu solrona chromosomal aberration nu kuda solra okay yes can i continue pasangla yes or no we are also going to be discussing about mutagens not to worry everything that is written here will be discussed in detail from your neat exam point of view okay ipo ungalku idu vandu romba clear ah puriyum mutation or discontinuous source of variation ma'am mutation thevaya or organism ku ad veru harmfulness thana ma'am cause pannudhu appadi kedaiyadhu pasangala we all evolved from monkeys we all evolved from our ancestors just because of mutation that accumulated in us evolution chapter next on the chapter paaka porom okay and this variation was useful correct and that's how we have become super brainy now 
okay and the word mutation was given by rumbo important hugo devris okay probable neat question okay and he studied mutation in a plant called enothera lamarckiana in the enothera lamarckiana nrad enadu it's called evening primrose okay or etra me inda number alla mukyam kediyadu it's just out of curiosity he observed 834 mutations in 54343 plants of enothera lamarckiana avaru avlo mutations vandu observe panida inda mutation theory vandu avaru postulate pannaru so ivarku munnadi we also had one more person called morgan last class la padicho th morgan can anyone tell me what did th morgan discover th morgan enna vandu discover pannar can anybody tell me yes so he observed keep telling i will continue he observed that white eyed male drosophila in a population of red eyed drosophila in the red eye endradu wild character adu da natural ah irukka character ஓகே இந்த ஒயிட் ஆயிடுறது ஒரு மியூட்டன்ட் அது சடனாக அந்த பாப்புலேஷனில் எங்கேருந்தோ வந்துச்சு கரெக்டா தட் இஸ் வாட் வி கால் மியூட்டன்ட் எஸ் வெரி குட் ஜானஸ் டிஹெச் மார்கன் டிஸ்கவர்ட் லிங்கேஜ் ஓகே ஸோ வைல்ட் டிஸ்கவரிங் லிங்கேஜ் ஹி ஆல்சோ அப்சர்வ் மியூட்டேஷன் ஓகே ஸோ தட்ஸ் வாட் ஐ வாஸ் ட்ரைங் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் இது இந்த ஐ கலர்ன்ற கேரக்டர் எங்கே இருக்குன்னா இட் இஸ் லொக்கேட்டட் ஆன் யோர் எக்ஸ் குரோமோசோம் ஓகே அதனால தான் அதை வந்து நம்ம எக்ஸ் லிங்க்டு கேரக்டர்னு சொல்கிறோம் ஓகே அண்ட் முல்லர் டிஸ்கவர் த இண்டியூஸ்ட் மியூட்டேஷன் என்ன மேம் மியூட்டேஷன் இண்டியூஸ் பண்ண முடியுமா கண்டிப்பாக பண்ணலாம் பசங்களா okay so i can induce mutation in bacteria i can induce mutation in plant cell i can also induce mutation in animal cell ye nama human beings liye mutation induce pannalam eppadi pannalam can anyone tell me how do we induce mutation very simple inge kuduthirukanga using x rays using radiations i can actually induce mutation okay kekala how do you induce mutations by using x rays okay yeah shall we continue pasangala Yes, either paranga gene which induce mutation in another gene is called mutator. If you paranga, it is a gene X. Okay, this is your gene Y. This is inducing mutation on Y. Okay, so either I am saying mutator and saying. Okay, and the gene which is getting mutated is called as mutable gene. Mutator gene. mutable gene okay and the part of my dna which undergoes mutation is called as muton okay we call it as a unit of mutation okay so enna na padichirukko mutator mutable muton okay so i have sudden our question cake cake round thonud what is replicant muton and nonne i thought i can ask you what is replicant which we studied in molecular basis of inheritance can anyone tell me muton endrathu the part of your dna which undergoes mutation then what is replicon let me see how many of you will answer so now already sonna mari mutation vandu rendu vidham onnu vandu chromosomal mutation innonu vandu gene mutation in the chromosomal mutation vandu rendu vidhama pirikkapadudhu okay one is aberration chromosomal aberration okay or chromosome la nadakkira prachaninga it can be deletion it can be addition it can be inversion translocation adella na nama aberration nu solrom and that is what we are going to study okay apra innon irukku ploidy change in the entire set of chromosome that i will do when i do chromosomal abnormalities and the klein felter syndrome turner syndrome pannum bodu adha clear ah solren what is replicon pasangala replicon is a unit of replication it is a place in your dna where replication takes place adha da na vandu replicon nu solren okay ipa nama the different types of mutation paakala you have deletion inversion duplication translocation the words are self explanatory pasangala okay so what you need to understand is the chromosome nama vandu in the chapter la molecular basis of inheritance lu idu panna then i spoke about a segment here i am talking about chromosome chromosome la nadakkira mutations idella okay we shall continue the first thing is deletion okay deletion na enna loss of a part or a segment of a chromosome adha da nama deletion nu solrom so deletion vandu rendu vidhama irukku onnu vandu terminal deletion okay innon vandu intercalary deletion 
inter calorie deletion terminal na enna pasangala romba simple imagine this is your chromosome okay the ends of the chromosome are deleted adha da na terminal mutation nu solren okay like your telomere okay then inter calorie na inga paarenga in between it's not the terminal ends it is something a segment in between is deleted that is what we call it as inter calorie any doubts terminal means ends okay inter calorie means regions in between one one word is enough if you have your notebook you can make a note of it okay simple understanding ipo nama next paaka poradhu inversion ma'am inversion na enna idu ipdi irukku okay imagine this is like this i'm keeping it like this ulta okay inversion na ulta va eldradhu correct ah yes it is a breakage of a chromosomal segment but reunion of the same chromosome in a reverse order parunga in 6 7 iruka in 6 7 break aayi it is actually arranged again in a reverse order in 6 7 enna agudhu 7 6 agudhu okay in the inversion la rendu vidham irukku onnu vandu paracentric inversion innon vandu pericentric inversion Ma'am, paracentric na enna? It happens on one chromosome. It is done in our arms of the chromosome. In solro, we also call it as chromatids. The arms of the chromosome is called chromatid. Within one single chromatid, there is an exchange or inversion of the nuclear genes. Okay, so in the six seven are there. In the seven six are there. and it does not involve centromere inga centromere e na involve panala adha da nama paracentric nu solrom okay next pericentric na enna na it involves two arms rendu arms involve panadhu pasangala okay and it involves the centromere also peri na enna it is involve centromere centromere para na enna it is not involving centromere am i clear pasangala is there any doubts very good both arms excellent excellent so idha vandha nama pericentric nu solrom okay deletion la rendu vidham irukku terminal deletion intercalary deletion inversion la rendu vidham irukku paracentric pericentric okay now we shall continue duplication idhu romba easy correct ah you can see here it is getting duplicated a particular segment in your chromosome occurs twice or xerox apply produce agudhu okay in this segment if any recessive gene is present then it gives to expression due to homozygous condition homozygous recessive disease varadukana chance nariya irukku so example is bar i character in your drosophila is observed due to duplication on x chromosome okay so duplication mudinjathu ipo nama translocation paaka porom ma'am translocation na enna very simple ninga konja nara genetics marandittu one one particular part is moving from one region to another region correct adha da nama translocation nu solrom okay in translocation the part of the chromosome is broken and joined idu romba mukkiyam with non homologous chromosome not homologous chromosome they are joined with non homologous chromosome this is also known as illegitimate crossing over crossing over takes place okay but this is not actually a proper crossing over this leads to mutations okay inga paarenga modala simple translocation irukku when a chromosomal segment breaks and attaches to the terminal end of a non chromo non homologous chromosome so idu idu vandu chromosome 1 idu vandu chromosome 2 okay so here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 a b c d e f what is happening pasangala this 5 6 region of chromosome 1 gets translocated to this chromosome 2 romba easy correct a simple logic da yes or no pasangala am i clear what is simple translocation ipo na innor one irukku interstitial or shift translocation idha romba kashtam nu nenachukanga romba romba easy okay interstitial na enna nadakkudhu indha 5 6 poi ends la poi translocate aagama nadula interstitial na enna in between okay interstitial is nothing but in between they are going to get and go and get translocated okay ipo reciprocal reciprocal na enna i give you you give me okay so there is an exchange between two proper things so inga enna agudhu inda ef indrathu inga podu 5 6 indrathu inga varudhu it is exchange of segments between two non homologous chromosome okay that's a type of reciprocal translocation 
clear so what are the three important types of translocation simple translocation interstitial translocation and reciprocal translocation okay either based many questions varumana varad okay but it's going to help you understand mutation better okay you will understand mutation so well now okay ipo nam last ah paaka poradhu point mutation okay ipo nam vandu chromosomal mutation mudichaachi okay chromosomal mutation la enna la change nadakum deletion okay then you have duplication then you have what pasangla deletion duplication then translocation okay and then you have inversion in the naal nadakum ipo point mutation endradhu as i already told you it is a kind of gene mutation okay there are these are due to structural changes in the dna molecule at a single locus ore or nucleotide illa ore or base pair la edaach change vanduchuna adu vandu point nu solrom so idu vandu innor peru irukku inda point mutation ku we call it as single nucleotide single nucleotide polymorphism okay single nucleotide poly morphism can anyone give an example for point mutation yes deletion duplication translocation and inversion excellent excellent can i get hearts can we continue though the strength is less i am very happy teaching here i have people responding and that's enough yes or no yes uh, now idu eppadi nadakkudhu pasangala in the gene mutation it is sudden and distinct changes in the genes which can be detected by the visible changes in the phenotype of an organism i can see the changes in the phenotype that's very very important so point mutation could be dominant it could be recessive it could be lethal it could be harmless it could be x linked or autosomal the, the words ala paathu bayapada 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 venda we will do it very very simple ஓகே இதில் ரெண்டு விதம் இருக்கு ஒன்று வந்து சப்ஸ்டிடியூஷன் இன்னொன்று வந்து ஃப்ரேம் ஷிஃப்ட் மியூட்டேஷன் ஐ ஆஸ்க் யூ அ கொஸ்டின் பசங்களா வாட் இஸ் அன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஃபார் பாயிண்ட் மியூட்டேஷன் ஏதாச்சும் ஞாபகம் வருதா சடனாக பாயிண்ட் மியூட்டேஷனுக்கான எக்ஸாம்பிள் இப்போ நம்ம முதல்ல என்ன பார்க்க போகிறோம்னா வி ஆர் கோன் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் சப்ஸ்டிடியூஷன் சப்ஸ்டிடியூஷன்னா என்ன ஒன்றுக்கு பதில் இன்னொன்று கரெக்டா இப்போ ஏக்கு பதிலாக டி இல்லை ஜிக்கு பதிலாக சி அதுதான் நம்ம சப்ஸ்டிடியூஷன் சொல்கிறோம் ஓகே ரீப்ளேஸ்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் அ நைட்ரோஜினஸ் பேஸ் பை அனாதர் நைட்ரோஜினஸ் பேஸ் ஈஸ் கால் சப்ஸ்டிடியூஷன் இப்போ பாருங்கள் இதில் ஏ டி ஜி சி சின்னு இருக்குது இது ஒரு பார்ட் ஆஃப் யூ குரோமோசோம் ஆர் டிஎன்ஏ ஓகே வென் ஐ சப்ஸ்டிடியூட் திஸ் டி பை ஜி or when i substitute this c by t that kind of mutation is called substitution excellent sickle cell anemia very good very good okay so in the mari substitution vande nama rendu vidama solrom this is important from exam point of view okay one vande transition okay na id elidittirukkum bodu can anyone tell me the purins and pyrimidins yes thalassemia very good purins and pyrimidins edad in chat section la podunga transition and transversion okay so what is transition pasangla enoda purine vandu purine ave substitute aana illa enoda pyrimidine vandu pyrimidine ane substitute aana da adoda per vandu transition purine being substituted as purine okay what are the two what are the two purines adenine being substituted as guanine or guanine being substituted as adenine adha da nama vandu adenine and guanine are purines excellent can you tell me the pyrimidines if a trans adhe mari you have pyrimidines being substituted by pyrimidines adha da nama transition nu solrom okay that is t being substituted by c or c being substituted by t okay very good is it clear pasangala transition purinjada transversion solli thara transition purinjada ellarku yes cytosine and thymine okay can we move on to transversion janus crazy dude can we continue yes ipo nama transversion na enna nu paakala okay so transversion na idu da konjo confuse aagum okay it is a purine being substituted by a pyrimidine okay listen to me carefully or a pyrimidine being substituted by a purine okay ipo let's take for example purine adenine is a purine correct ah so this purine can be substituted by what thymine and cytosine inge eldi irukke correct ah i have guanine which is a purine now this it can be substituted by cytosine or thymine 
These two are what? Pyramidins. Try to understand it very, very clearly. Ippo, pyramidins, you have thymine. Thymine will be substituted by adenine or it will be substituted by guanine. Ademar, you have cytosin, which will be substituted by your adenine or by guanine. Oblaga, is a base money questions. You should know this table. And that's why I wrote it again so that you will have a clear idea. Okay, transition and transversion clear. Ha? So that completes your substitution. Okay, yes. Okay, now we have sickle cell anemia. We have clear because we have this autosomal recessive condition. But what is sickle cell anemia? What is replaced by what? This GAG is replaced by GUG. Okay, it is U. The GAG is a nucleotide. This is very, very important from exam point of view. This A is replaced by U. Now, can anybody tell me whether it is a transition or transversion? A to U is a transition or transversion. What is A? A is a purin. Correct. What is U? It is a pyrimidin. So, is it a transition or transversion? Anybody? A is being substituted by U. So, is it an example for transition or very good, very good. Sure shot in the chapter, in the question you can answer Janus. Excellent. Okay. It is a transversion. The purin is replaced by a pyrimidin. Okay. So, this GAG codes for an amino acid called glutamate. Very good. Very good crazy dude. It is going to code for what? Glutamate. Okay, in the Nadakadana, in the Mario change Agamode, instead of glutamate, valine is synthesized. Okay, Idena Panona, in a normal biconcave on RBC, it becomes sickle shaped. In the Mari sickle shape, I run RBC. So my RBC will not be able to perform its function. Okay, other symptoms are later. Pakla, Ipaning Idamatra Pujukonga. How is sickle cell anemia? A substitution mutation. That's very, very, very important. Okay, now we next up frame shift mutation. Can anyone think about what is frame shift mutation? Frame shift na enna? Yarka therima? Frame vandhu abde shift agudhu. So you have mutagens. Now already sonna. Mutagens are chemicals that causes mutations. Correct? So you have mutagens like acridin and proflavin. Okay, they add one base, one or two base or they can even delete one or two base. Okay, so let me take this. I even took this example when I thought molecular basis of inheritance. Okay, biology example. Imagine these are the uh, base pairs or nucleotides that is present on the DNA. Just imagine, hypothetical. Okay, Ippo, idhilavandhi, na rendu new nucleotides add pannra. Okay, so enna ago? Biotology. The entire meaning is changing. Correct? The entire meaning is changing. Similarly, if I have this A, T, T, G, C, C, T, A, T. This is an amino acid code. Pannu. Correct? This is an amino acid code. Pannu. This is an amino acid code. Pannu. This is an amino acid code. If I add a base pair, there will be a shift in the frame. Okay, there will be change in the reading frame of the DNA. That is what we call it as frame shift mutation. Purujada, does anyone have any doubts here? Any doubts in frame shift mutation? Example, okay, of a point mutation example on the sickle cell anemia. But your thalassemia, cystic fibrosis, they are all examples for frame shift mutation. Okay, Ipo is our example order soldra. See here. This is normal, normal gene. Okay, what am I doing here? I am actually, uh, there is a plus one frame shifted. Okay, I am a nucleotide add pandra. that is going to shift my entire frame. Okay, you can see the change in the amino acid sequence. Trionine is not And you can see later also the amino acid sequences are changing. That is what we call frame shift. Okay, a minus one, one nucleotide is deleted. Okay, so how do I define this frame shift mutation? Can anyone tell me what is the definition of frame shift mutation? Addition or I want everyone to make a note of this. 
deletion of nucleotides of nucleotides changes the entire protein sequence protein sequence or changes the amino acid is called as frame shift mutation okay romba romba mukhyamana vishayam example enna thalassemia cystic fibrosis okay point mutation ki example enna pasangla sickle cell anemia okay now we shall continue yes cystic fibrosis though it is not there in your syllabus just try to understand this okay nama ellar kittiyum be it a healthy person or be it a, a people who is affected with cystic fibrosis we all have one protein called cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator cftr and naam vechukonga okay all over your word venda you don't have to remember okay this cftr is present in my plasma membrane it helps in transport of substance enga irukku idu vandu enoda lungs la irukku okay but people with cystic fibrosis they have a mutated cftr channel and the channel la vandu edho prachana irukku in the cystic fibrosis irukavangalukku so what happens there will be accumulation of mucus in the alveoli of the lungs ஸோ அவங்களுக்கு மூச்சு விடவே ரொம்ப கஷ்டமாக இருக்கும் அவங்க ஆக்சிஜன் சேச்சுரேஷன் ரொம்ப ரொம்ப கம்மியாக இருக்கும் தட் இஸ் யர் சிஸ்டிக் ஃபைப்ரோசிஸ் ஓகே எஸ் தென் வி ஹாவ் மியூட்டஜின்ஸ் ரொம்ப முக்கியமான விஷயம் மியூட்டேஷன் காசிங் ஏஜென்ட்ஸ் ஆர் கால் மியூட்டஜின்ஸ் கேன் யூ திங்க் ஆஃப் எனி எக்ஸாம்பிள்ஸ் ஆஃப் மியூட்டஜின்ஸ் மியூட்டஜின்ஸ் குட் பி ஃபிசிக்கல் தே குட் பி கெமிக்கல் ஆர் பயாலஜிக்கல் யூ கேன் ஆல்சோ இன்க்ளூட் பயாலஜிக்கல் ஓகே so what do these mutations do they are going to bring about a change in the dna correct so modala nama radiation pathi paakala you have ionizing and non ionizing radiation idu romba mukkiyam this is from ncert so which of the following is an ionizing physical mutagen which of the following is a non ionizing physical mutagen and the mari kekkalam okay ionizing in alpha rays beta rays gamma rays and x rays they are all called ionizing mutagens okay you have non ionizing uv rays okay so we are all exposed to uv rays many different kind of radiations okay or 20 years ago we have to go okay 1995 something near to 2000 appala cancer or count like the number of people who were affected with cancer was very less okay as to now ipo compare panavanga appo nu romba romba kammi ena these days okay we are all exposed to a lot and lot of mutagens pasangala yes uv rays is a non ionizing radiation okay in the uv rays enna pannom nradha or quick ana or vishayam solirren okay imagine this is my nucleotide okay so this is tt ipo idu vandu uv rays ku expose agudhu uv rays enga irundhu varudhu can anyone tell me from where do we get uv rays little bit of physics okay so enna nadakona there is a bond that is formed between your pyrimidines okay it is going to cause pyrimidin dimerization uv rays okay pyrimidin dimerization so in the uv rays in that it's coming from sun okay it comes from sun and it is actually uh, filtered by a ozone layer but due to pollution the ozone layer is depleting correct so more and more uv rays is entering our earth's atmosphere and we are all exposed to uv light okay ninga australia la pathinga anga vandu ozone layer depletion undu romba enna solradhu mosama irukanga okay there you see skin cancer is the most important type of cancer there okay because there there this uv rays can cause skin cancer it can cause pigmentation it can cause eye cancer okay retinoblastoma and the mari nariya situations irukke inga okay coming to chemical mutagen idu vandu inna harmful pasangala physical mutagen na enak theriyum at least i can avoid myself getting exposed to radiation but chemical mutagen idu enga da illa ella edathiliyume irukke inda chemical mutagens okay they are more harmful than radiation because the body is not protected against chemicals okay idu repair pandradhukudo e odamla dna repair mechanism nu solli onnu irukke ana enoda chemical mutagens repair panna onnume kedaiyadhu okay where are these chemical mutagens present everywhere in the food you eat in the drinks you drink 
everywhere in the in the tobacco you smoke in the alcohol you drink everywhere there is chemical mutagens pasangla modala identify panna it's very sad actually it's very sad okay the modala identify panna patta chemical mutagen is mustard gas okay carbon tetrasulfide then you have nitrous acid they are all very very potent mutagens okay so inna you know, recent ah na engiyo padichen in the barbecued food irukla in the barbecue chicken alla adu mela irukka or adu or black ana or thar marina like or crispy ana layer irukla that also has potential mutagens okay and the oil why why they actually tell don't use the oil again and again because and the oil la vanda unsaturation or saturation or change aagum when you reheat it okay so in that that used oil can also be a mutagen enga mutagen illa endra da ipo question okay yes so you have radiation i already spoke to you about okay uv rays x rays and chemicals so many chemicals we are all exposed to pasangla it's very sad to know this okay sila per therinjo use pandranga sila per theriyama use pandranga you have cigarette smoke okay with every cigarette you smoke 11 minutes of your life is reduced this is a proven fact okay it's not just neenga avanga smoke pandravanga matra affect aagadhu sutti irukanga la passive smokers okay namalla avanga sutti irundhona namalku ad affect aagum it causes lung cancer emphysema nariya conditions irukke okay chemical mutagens na sonna la nitrate and uh, nitrate preservatives used in hot dogs and other preserved meats we are all a fan of uh, uh, french fries and other uh, preserved processed food noodles கரெக்டா அத திருப்பி பாருங்க பசங்களா யூ ஜஸ்ட் சி த இன்கிரீடியன்ட்ஸ் விச் இஸ் பிரசன்ட் தேர் அண்ட் யூ கோன் டைப் இட் இன் த கூகுள் யூ வில் சி ஹவு மெனி ஆஃப் தேம் ஆர் மியூட்டிஜன்ஸ் நிறைய நிறைய அதுல வந்து கார்சினோஜன்ஸ் இருக்கும் கார்சினோஜன்ஸ்னா என்ன கேன் எனி ஒன் டெல் மீ வாட் ஆர் கார்சினோஜன்ஸ் ஐ டோல் யூ நோ பார்பேக்யூங் நான் இப்பதான் சொன்னேன் ஓகே இட் கிரியேட்ஸ் மியூட்டஜெனிக் கெமிக்கல்ஸ் இன் த ஃபுட் okay people think பார்பேக்யூ இஸ் வெரி சி ஒன்ஸ் இன் அ வைல் இட்ஸ் கம்ப்ளீட்லி ஓகே பட் எவ்ரி டே you are getting exposed to that barbecued fruits okay i'm not just talking like that i have read so i'm just trying to share it with you yes cancer causing or called carcinogens then benzoyl peroxide is that like highlight acne treatment pimples on that treat ninga paarenga edhaach or face wash edunga adu pinnadi benzoyl peroxide nu edhaach or content irundhe irukum okay and that can also cause mutations adu therinju doctors namalku adu prescribe panuvaanga because our treat there has to be a treatment though the chances is less idu use panna kandipa namalku cancer varo mutation varo nu kedaiyadhu they can cause it yes then we have infectious agent hpv human papilloma virus it causes cervical cancer okay idu eppadi patta or cancer cause panudhu cervical cancer in women or or ethana perukku theriyum theriyala we have a vaccine that has been developed by indian government for hpv the human papilloma virus ku vaccine kandupidikapatrukku nariya government hospitals la kuduthirukanga that to at a free of cost in private it, it is just 250 or 350 okay when you take that vaccine you can protect yourself from cervical cancer okay yes glutathione yeah glutathione la irukuma irukuma ma'am glutathione peroxide andha mari irukum paarenga nama we see we have come to such a stage where we can't avoid ourselves from mutagens okay even me knowingly like theriyo analu we do it right so we can't avoid but reduce your exposure okay reduce your exposure to mutagens yes yes nam ellarkume avoid e panna mudiyadhu nariya vishayathu namala avoid e panna mudiyadhu but you can reduce it when when you can reduce it when you are aware of it eppadi neenga aware aaga mudiyum when you read things okay and when you listen to people who know about it and you have to spread the awareness that spreading awareness is very 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 important glutathione and the totally different topic we will discuss that okay ipo nama pedigree analysis ku polam okay yaar kal pedigree analysis na enna theriyuma all before that do you guys have any other mutagenic agents in your mind where are such mutagenic agents irka let's discuss by the end of the session we will have some general talk also okay yes what is pedigree analysis it is a graphical representation listen to me very very carefully pasangla it is a graphical representation of inheritance of a trait all of you make a note of it of 
inheritance of a particular trait. It is a harmful trait. That is not a trait. We use the disease study. Okay? So, very important. The pedigree analysis is the inheritance of a particular trait represented in the family tree over generation. Okay, I will give you a scenario. Person X, he or she has a particular condition like sickle cell anemia. In the sickle cell anemia, whether it's from the mother or the father, obviously both the parents should be carriers. Correct? Then the sickle cell anemia comes. In the disease, from whom did they carry that particular gene? So that is tracing back. Pinadi poi pakarad, yar kitter nandachi, epri vandachi, other than ama pedigree analysis in solro, romba romba mukimana vishio pasangla. So last year I don't think there was any question based on pedigree. So this year we can expect a pedigree question. Okay. Ning a CBS exam, you can have pedigree. So you have conditions or traits, traits or disease, okay, or disorder. Inna vena solana. They are of two types. Rende vidho. Okay. One is autosomal. Inna pasangla onne? Autosomal. Inna vandhe sex linked. Okay. Autosomal and sex linked. Can anyone watching the live tell me what is autosomal trait? Rombo simple. These traits are carried by autosome. Other than our autosomal trait in solro. Correct. Then what is X sex link trait? These traits are carried by my sex chromosomes. We call it as X link and Y link. Okay. Sex link la render ke. If they, very good. Very good. If they are carried by my X chromosome, I call it as X link inheritance. If they are carried by my Y chromosome, we call it as Y link inheritance. Okay. Ita la nama padikla. Autosomal recessive dominant, X link recessive, X link dominant. Does anyone know an example for Y linked inheritance? Umbo interesting ana example. That is a disease alang kadi yada. That is inheritance. Does anyone know Y linked inheritance kana example? We call it as hyper trichosis. Okay, it is inherited. This is extra but interesting. Okay. From father to the son. Okay. What is Y linked inheritance pasangla? It is the inheritance of trait from the father to the son. Okay. In the hypertrichosis na, ning observe panir pingla nan terila, sila men la vande, in the kaad, in the ear pinna arkla, in the ear pinala naraya mudi ilko. It is not going to cause any defect, any harm, nothing. Okay. And the same trait will be present in his son. Yes. That is what we call it as hypertrichosis. Ippa purunjala janis, what is hyper? Hyper na more. Trichosis na hair. Enga arko hypertrichosis in your ear pinna. Okay? Is it clear? Why linked inheritance? All the extra information da. Nama mitcha dalla clear a padikla. Can we continue? Can I get a victory sign so we can continue further? Yes. So that is also why linked. Okay. Yes. Yepri na vande or pedigree pate, either autosomal dominant, either autosomal recessive, nahi appear in the confusion irko, either sex linked dominant, either sex linked, either y linked, in y linked kurthur kanga parna. Father ku son ko, other transmit achana, other than the y linked. Doubt take a yad. Okay, autosomal dominant. Can first anyone tell me what is a dominant trait? Dominant trait na in a ure or alil podo. One alil is in a Correct. In the textbook, there is two different things. Autosomal recessive and sex-linked recessive. So, you will have questions from autosomal recessive and sex-linked recessive alone. Okay. So, they will not give you an autosomal dominant pedigree and all. Okay. So, mostly 90% it will be from autosomal recessive and sex-linked recessive. Okay. So, before I go with all this, first let us try to understand what is a recessive trait and what is a dominant trait. Okay, so what is recessive? The trait often skips generation. Okay, and the trait on the one generation will come here. Kaadhe. The deal in the generation will come Okay, dominant, the trait usually does not skip generation. In law generation, you will come. Okay, recessive na affected individuals will have always affected children. Okay, rend parents affect. 
புரிஞ்சுக்கோங்க ஈதர் போத் த பேரண்ட் ஷுட் பி கேரியர்ஸ் ஆர் போத் த பேரண்ட் ஷுட் பி அஃபெக்டட் டு ஹேவ் அ ரெசிவ் ட்ரேட் ஆனால் டாமினன்ட் ட்ரேட் அப்படி கிடையாது அப்பாவுக்கு இருந்தால் போதும் வந்துடும் அம்மாவுக்கு இருந்தால் போதும் அந்த ட்ரேட் வந்துடும் ஓகே அஃபெக்டட் இண்டிவிஜுவல்ஸ் ஹேவ் நார்மல் சில்ட்ரன் ஓகே தோ ஐ எம் அஃபெக்டட் ஐ கேன் ஹாவ் அ சைல்ட் ஹூ இஸ் நார்மல் தோ ஐ எம் அஃபெக்டட் ஐ கேன் ஹாவ் அ சைல்ட் ஹூ இஸ் த சேம் ஆஸ் மீ okay that is what we call it as affected this dominant trait okay most affected individuals have normal parents because the parents could be carriers non affected individuals do not have affected children okay if an affect aagati enna children affect a irukka maatanga romba tricky a irka just wait pannunga i'll show you the um, pedigree and explain everything okay so these are the symbols illa time the symbol kuda ketirundanga i think this was asked இப்படி இப்படி ஒன்று கொடுத்து இப்படி கொடுத்து வாட் டஸ் தட் இண்டிகேட்னு கேட்டிருந்தாங்க திஸ் வாஸ் ஆஸ்ட் இன் ஒன் ஆஃப் த எக்ஸாம் ஸோ யூ ஹாவ் மேல் யூ ஹாவ் ஃபீமேல் செக்ஸ் அன்ஸ்பெசிஃபைட் அப்படின்னா என்ன மேம் செக்ஸ் அன்ஸ்பெசிஃபைட்னா செக்ஸ் வந்து அந்த இதில் வந்து சொல்லலை ஆர் வி டோன் நோ வாட் த செக்ஸ் ஆஃப் த ஆர்கானிசம் வாஸ் ஆர் பர்சன் இருப்பாங்க ஓகே இவன் இன் யோர் பேப்பர் இட் வுட் ஹாவ் பீன் ஷேடட் வாட் ஹேப்பன்ட் 